it's me, Kylie, and Dax, and this is our friend Marcia. Hi. And this is Marcia's art studio. Look around, this place is beautiful. Marcia, what kind of art do you make? I make beaded wall hangings. I take all these different colored beads, I hang them, I, I put them on the strings, and then I hang them up together to make can different I have, can designs. Can I touch the beads? Yes. Look, all these little, little strings have individual, small little beads on them. And she strings them on these strings so that they make this whole picture. Isn't that Look amazing? This one. I know. Is that your favorite strand? Marcia, how long does this take you to make one of these? So long. Yeah. Very, very long. Many hours. But I like it. So you bring your beads outside and you work here at this table? I do. Oh, that's amazing. It's my favorite. I hear the birds, I see the bunnies. So, so nature fun. inspires your art? 100%. That's awesome. Marcia has some sons and I have a son. And so we decided that we were going to do a project all together. It's a project that Marcia has done before. What is it called? A Sharpie watercolor. Sharpie watercolor. So it's kind of a color and a paint, right? Yes, exactly. <gasps> Dax, are you excited? Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is put some fabric onto the canvas. Dax, we are going to make a big rectangle out of these pieces of wood. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's compare. Hmm, which one is taller? This one. All right, we're going to put the two short sides on each end like this. Then, we're gonna put the long sides down here and build it into a... Rectangle. You're right, a rectangle. Look at this cool frame. It's like we're in a picture. You wanna get in our picture? Come on, Dax. <laughs> Perfect. Now that the frame is together, yeah. we're gonna lay our fabric down flat. First thing we're gonna do is open up our staple gun. This is something for adults only. Got it? Okay. Our canvas is done! We stapled it all on the back so it's nice and tight now. Let's get our kits going. Come on! Okay, Marcia, what's the first thing we do? Well, you pick the colors that you want to put on your canvas, like that, <laughs> and you start coloring, and that's it, you just start. You can color anything you want? Anything you want, in any color. All right, let's do this. While we start, let me introduce you to these friends. This is my friend, Josiah, and this is Aiden, and we're about to make something incredible. It doesn't even have to really be a shape, you can just do colors or squiggles. There you go. Well, I like it. It's gonna turn into something really interesting. Why? All right. Ooh, Dax, what did you draw? I'm still doing it. Oh, okay. A, a red, maybe a sheep. <laughs> Do you think? Oh, Dax is doing a red balloon. Dax, that balloon is awesome. If you put the rubbing alcohol on, it all kind of... I like that just like Marcia's art with all the beads, like all the little beads make this whole picture when they're one thing, all of us are drawing our own thing and it's gonna be one amazing art piece. Is there any I can reach for you? Okay, what colors do you need that you can't reach? Yellow. Okay. Purple. Sure. And yellow. Another yellow. Awesome. Dax, what do you think I'm drawing? Um, what does mine look like? Dax! <laughs> can I draw something? You sure can. Oh, 
Oh, Dax, that's so great. I see the circle and then the straight lines. It's a wacky fun. Oh, I love it. <gasps> Look at Aiden's son. It has curly hair. <laughs> that's really cool, nice Aiden. One. Josiah is putting his marker like this. I see it on its side, so it gets wider like that. That's a cool idea. And then if you put it right on the tip, it makes a skinnier line. And you can just do a dot, <gasps> and if you leave it there, it gets bigger and bigger mm. and bigger. Mm. Let's try it. That one will put It, the bigger it gets. That's cool. I'm gonna do lots of dots too, Dax. Ooh, sunrise or sunset? I don't think it matters. <laughs> <laughs> I have a crazy idea. Yeah. What if everyone stops? No, crazy. And we turn it, and you have to keep drawing on somebody else's drawing. That's a great idea. Okay, ready? Let's do that. Ah, yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do it. All the way. Not gonna fit on the table. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look at this yellow. That was a good dot. That is a really good bowling ball. Max, are those bowling pins? Mm. What else can I add? I made a tiny bowling ball. Oh, I love that. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Do you know the <laughs> reason? I don't. Bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> it just got big enough. Oh. Whoa. How? Na, 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 na. Look, Daddy's making art with He's us, too. Oh, yeah. yeah I know. the next part of our project. Marcia, what do we do now? Now, this is really my favorite part. Okay. When you spray the rubbing alcohol, 91% okay. or higher, um, the rubbing alcohol will make the colors kind of spread and kind of move together and make it look kind of like a watercolor. All right. Do part of it, I wanna see, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Give it a minute and it will start to move. Oh, I see it. I see it spreading right here. Yep. And sometimes you can get close and kind of make it move a little more. Wow. You can do a lot of different ways. I'm gonna do this black and blue over okay. here and see what happens. Oh, cool. I love this. Should we let the kids spray a little bit? I think they want to. <laughs> okay. Spray like crazy. Oh, cool. Dax, look how the color is spreading where you're spraying. Oh, 
Amazing! Marcia, thank you so much for teaching us this incredible way of drawing and painting. Do you think that I could take this home? Yes. Yes! It's yours. Okay, I'm gonna pack it up, put it in my car, and we'll go back to the studio. I'm back home at my studio. Wasn't it fun to look at Marcia's studio? Different kinds of artists make different kinds of things, and so they need different places to make it. I love her bead art, and I love this Sharpie watercolor painting that I was able to make with my friends Marcia and Aiden and Josiah. And, of course, you too. <laughs> I love it so much. Do you have a favorite part? I don't even know how I would pick. Hmm. When you were looking at your favorite part, did you notice that some of this painting seems to be missing or that it looks a little bit smaller in my studio than it did in Marcia's? If you did notice that, you're right. This painting is exactly half the size that it was there. Want to know why? I split it in half! That's because the best part about making art is sharing it. And we all made this art project together. It was a great time and a great memory. So I'm gonna hang this one on my wall and I'm sending this one to Josiah, Aiden, and Marcia. Be looking for a package, y'all. I had so much fun creating with you and with them. And you know what? If you have some friends or family who wanna make an incredible project together that all ages can participate in, this is a great one. All you need is fabric, Sharpie markers, a canvas or canvas stretcher, a staple gun, and some rubbing alcohol, at least 91% in a spray bottle. That's it. Then you just need togetherness and your imagination. Hey, it's me, Kylie, and I'm here at the playground with Dax and my nieces and nephew. Wanna meet them? I'm Dax. I'm Layla. I'm Dax. is very wrong, but I can't quite figure out what it is. Dax, do you know? Uh-huh. What? Um, we don't have any colors. What? Wait, uh, all the colors on our shirts are gone. <gasps> I know how to solve this, do you? Uh-huh. What should we do to put color on these magic shirts? Magic slide. A magic slide? Uh-huh, that's the magic slide. Let's try it. Here we go. shirts to Grandma Deb's backyard! You and I were meant to feel alive Just look inside and you will find that we need to take a dive You are not alone You're not on your own You will fly 
is to take our white shirt and get it soaking wet. Do it. Boom, boom, boom. Somebody give him a squish. Oh yeah. Those need to soak for at least two minutes. Now I'm going to fill up these tubes. Do you see the powder in there? Mm -hmm. The powder is the dye part and I'm gonna add water so that it's squirtable. So I'm gonna fill it up to this line and then we are going to have a shake up dance party. Time to shake it up. I'm gonna have each kid come out one at a time to learn how to do a different technique of tie-dye. Then I'm going to have them come out, reveal their shirts one by one to you. And I'm gonna make my very own shirt with every method <laughs> in one shirt. It's gonna be awesome. Check it out! Ben is up first. He is going to make sunbursts on his. A very cool design choice. <laughs> the first thing we need to do is wring out all the extra water so it's not soaking, soaking, soaking. So gather it all up in your hands and bring it over here and just squeeze, yeah! Professional. I'll do the first one, you can do the rest. We're gonna grab a little area like this and you're gonna kind of pinch, pinch it and bunch it up and then put a rubber band. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I don't know how to do that thing. Okay, you do the pinch, I'll do the rubber band. So you show me where you want the pinches. Perfect. How many do I need? However many you want. How many little sunbursts do you want on it? Oh. Four. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Excellent placement. You want any more? Looks good. Okay, which colors would you like to use, Ben? Red. Red. Any more? And blue. And blue, cool. All right, let's put gloves on so we don't get more tie-dye. I wonder if you've ever put these gloves on. Something's gone wrong. <laughs> Let's do a glove high five. Oh, what color do you want to be in the middle of each one of your little circles? Red. Red, okay. You're gonna squirt that right in the middle of each one of those little pinches we did. Yeah, and you can do like a lot. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect, now move to the next one. Awesome. So cool. And then this blue, you can kind of put around or just like all over your shirt, wherever you want it to be blue. Yeah. Have you done this before? Are you serious? You're like a professional. Do you want any other colors or any other dye on here or anything else? Um. Orange? I really like these colors together. Oh yeah. Now, we're going to put that in this container. Have you ever seen a container like this? Where have you seen a container like this? At a last one. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of too. Okay, I'm gonna bunch this up and put it right in. And then guess what we're gonna do with this? We're gonna put it in the microwave. <laughs> we're gonna put this in the microwave for two minutes. And then we're gonna cut the rubber bands off, rinse it out, and see your creation. Ellie, come on over. So the first thing we're gonna do is get all that extra water out by squishing it together in your hands. Yeah, and just squish it. The grass likes water. The grass does like water. Let's lay it out flat. You're doing the swirl, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. This is one of my favorite tie-dyes to do. We'll put your in front. Bloop. So I'll show you how to do it and then I'll undo it and you can do it. Deal? We're gonna start, if you want your swirl to be in the very middle, is that where you want it? Start in the middle. You kind of put a claw down like this. Ugh. And then you twist. Twist, 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 until the whole thing is twisted up like a little shirt, um, what does it look like? Twist. Yeah, twist, 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 twist. Yes, yes, no. 
Okay, and now we're gonna put a bunch of rubber bands on here so it kind of looks like a shirt pizza, okay? Yeah. So I'll put the first one on. We're gonna put it all the way across like that. So do you wanna put one like from here to here? Do you have any idea what colors you're gonna make your shirt? Papa. Purple. I wonder what color you would make your shirt. I think one more rubber band. You think so? This one looks good. That one does look good, you're right. Let's put it right there. Woo, yes! Does it look like a pizza? Does it look delicious? Do you wanna eat it? No. Huh? No. Yeah? Yeah? Get in there, you finger! Oh, get in! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you said you want purple. So should we get dark purple? Dark purple. And we should pick some other colors so they all mix together. Red. Red, this red? Any others? Green. Green, this bright green or this kind of teal green? The teal green. Oh man, look at how cool these look together. Any others? That's good, but you can add more if you want. I'm gonna do yellow too. Yellow, okay, cool. That's one of my favorites, did you know that? Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna shake them up a little bit. So you see how this kind of made some triangles? Okay, you're gonna pick your first color and you're purple, gonna- Purple, Purple, perfect. And you're gonna squirt, 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 squirt all in one section. Do you want me to do the first one so you can see? Whoa, red, calm down, we'll get to you. Okay, I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, I already started. And you're really gonna put like a lot in, more than you think you need. Just uh, so much, you're gonna get down in there. So the dye is gonna go on the parts that are exposed, the parts we can see, and it's gonna go a little bit down in the folds, but not all the way down in the folds, and that's what's gonna get the cool design. Okay, what color do you wanna do next? Red. Red, all right. You wanna do this one? It looks pretty. It does look pretty already. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I can't black color that this make you look at. I love it. Do you love it? Okay, cool. Now we're gonna put it in its container and bake it in the microwave. Cook up a t-shirt. Layla wants to make stripes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to fold the fabric up in pleats. We're gonna go bloop, bloop. It helps if you make the sound. Bloop, 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 bloop. You wanna try this one? Bloop. Do you wanna try to bloop? <laughs> she has a lot of blue. Okay, perfect, boom. So now we're going to put rubber bands around it like this, and this is what's actually gonna make the stripes. So we'll do like one color here, one color in the next section. So we're breaking it up into sections. Are you able to do a rubber band like that? Kind of like putting your hair in a pony. Do you wanna just show me where you want the next section to be, like with your hand? Perfect. Whoa. doesn't it? Okay, what colors would you like? And then we'll glove up. Teal. And blue. And blue, pretty. You can have more, but you don't need. Just those. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is put some gloves on our hands so we don't end up like this. Although, look at you. Sometimes art just needs to be messy, doesn't it? Okay, this is the fun part. What color do you want to start with? Teal. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit more because it's been a while since our dance. And I'll do the first one and then you can go from there, okay? All we're gonna do is just cover this whole section. So you're gonna go in between rubber bands. So it'll go teal, blue, teal, blue, if you wanna do that pattern. Okay, and you're just gonna soak it. You wanna just get it in everywhere. And the places where it's folded really tight will stay white the places that are up front will be the most colored by our dye. Does that look good to you? All right. Okay, I love it. You like it already? 
Awesome. First thing we need to do is get your shirt out of the water bin. Dax wants to do, uh, what design again? Bullseye. Bullseye. Okay, so Dax, I want you to pick the area you want your, the middle of your bullseye. Where do you want it? Boom. And then I want you to pinch that shirt and pull it straight up. Pull, pull. Keep going. Perfect. And I'm going to put a rubber band right here. And that will be the middle of your bullseye. Then we're gonna pull it up again. Another rubber band. And that will be the outer ring of your bullseye. Okay, Dax, what colors do you want your shirt to be? We can choose one, two, three colors. Um, teal, orange, and pink. Teal, orange, and which pink? This light pink or this like fuchsia color? The fuchsia. Awesome. And which one is gonna be in the middle of your bullseye? Teal. You're going to squirt it just right here on this section from here to here. Yep. Great. And then what's gonna be the next ring? What color? Orange. Shake it up. And then your orange, you're gonna squirt right here. Oh. A bubble. Pop it. Pop it. Cool, a little dye dot. Now that we got it all full of color, we're gonna put it in its container. Do you wanna lift it in? Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna cook it. It's time for me to do my shirt. Can't wait. What should we do? Maybe a mix of everything. Do you think that would be cool? Okay, um, I'm gonna make some stripes on the sleeves. So for the stripes, I fold it up into pleats and then I make sections with the rubber bands. Now I'm going to make some little starbursts up here. So that's the one where you just kind of pinch it Just like that. Hmm, what next? A swirl? Let's do it. Maybe I'll do more than one swirl. Oh yeah, swirls everywhere. This might be a pretty wild design. Do you think it's gonna turn out okay? Thanks. I don't know, we're kind of making up our own thing now. That's what I love about art. You learn the basic steps, and then once you get those down, you get to get creative. I think we need to start with yellow. And, hmm, black? Those are kind of my colors. Now I think I'm going to introduce a new color. Perhaps mm, all of them. All right, it's ready to put in the container. I'm gonna cook this for two minutes. Then let all of these t-shirts rest for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna cut off the rubber bands, rinse them out, and reveal our artwork. I'm so excited. How about you? Okay, let's do it. everybody made? Everybody's looks really different, but I bet they're all going to look awesome. I'm gonna cut off the rubber bands. We're gonna open it up and then one by one, we'll bring your shirt over to that rack and we'll spray it off with the hose to get all the extra dye off of it before we wash it, okay? Okay. okay. I'm still Good. Ready to see the bullseye. 
Okay. I'm ready for the big reveal. Here we go. <gasps> Imagining? I love it. That is the most wild, crazy, awesome shirt I've ever made in my life. Now, you get to take the hose. And spray it. Spray it down. Look at all the extra dye coming off. Whoa, that's cool. Going on the ground. Yeah, no, that's okay. So we're gonna spray it until the water isn't colors anymore when it comes off. After this rinse, when the water runs all the way clear, you're gonna put these in your washing machine. Wash them up, dry them, and then fashion show! The shirts are done and they are incredible, but you don't have to take my word for it. Here's a fashion show. It's me, Kylie, and these are my nieces and nephews, and here is an introduction montage. We are on a family vacation, so we're gonna do some family art. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Okay, get your paper, get situated, and now get up, we're going outside. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are making paper airplanes together. So, we're starting with a lesson on aerodynamics. All right, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna put your arms out, so make sure you don't hit your neighbor. Ever, can you put your arms out? Big? Yes! And you're gonna make your hands flat like this. Okay, perfect. And now spin. Spin as fast as you can and notice what your hands feel like. Go the other way. Whoa. Whoa. Do you feel the wind on your hands? Yeah. Okay, stop. Now put your hands this way. Flat. So they slice through the air and spin again. Do you notice anything different? Does the air feel like it goes faster? Is there less push? Yeah. Okay, that's all you need to know. Back to the table. Okay, so when your hand was flat, what did you feel? What was the difference between when your hand was flat and when, when your hand was sideways? Wind. You felt wind on your hand? Yeah. Did you feel more wind when it was flat or sideways? Uh, flat. flat. More wind when it was flat. Okay, that's aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is how things move through the air and it's how airplanes work. We need to know this because we're making airplanes. Okay, start with your paper vertically, up and down long. We are gonna fold it in half. So you're gonna bring one side over to the other side and make a crease. So over like this, have a meet up. And to make it as aerodynamic as possible, we are going to fold it really good. Helps if you make the noise, try it. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now turn it back up and down like this. Great, and open it up. That crease that we just made is going to be our guideline for our next fold. So you're gonna take your two top corners and fold them down to meet the middle line. So it'll end up with kind of an arrow shape. Okay, so we're gonna end up with this kind of shape. And again, we're gonna do a good crease. You gotta, you gotta make the sound. Perfect, all right. Now, we're going to do the same thing. So point it up, up, up like this. We're gonna bring these sides, this time the top of our triangles, into the middle fold. So this to this on both sides. When we do the same thing on both sides, it's called symmetrical. So we're gonna end up with kind of a skinnier arrow for a Christmas tree. Okay, now you're just gonna 
fold it in half, right along that middle line. <gasps> Sound effects very important, Oliver. Yes, okay. Okay, so it's already looking like an airplane, right? What are we missing? Wings. Wings, you're totally right. So, you see how you have two parts? You're gonna fold each of these down to meet the bottom on either side. I'll help you, hold on one second. So you're gonna basically go like this. Fold it down to meet the sideline, like that. Flip it and do that on the other side. Again, symmetrical. The shape of the wings and the body of the plane matters because there's four things that you need to have in balance when you're making an airplane. So there's the thrust of the plane, which is what makes it go forward. So practice this. Now in the plane you're gonna take home, that's the engine. But in these planes, it's your arm engine. Okay, so that's the thrust. That's one of the forces. Then another force is the resistance of the wind or the drag. So when you're pushing it through air, your thrust is pushing it forward, but the air is pushing on it too. And I know it feels like air's not anything, but you can feel it when you go like this, right? Okay, that's what you were feeling when your hand was like this. You were feeling the drag of your hand, and that's the wind. So you're pushing it forward, but the wind, the air, is pushing it backwards, okay? So you have thrust and you have drag, okay? Then what makes something go like this? Do you know what the name gravity. of that force is? Gravity. Okay, so then we have a force that's going down called gravity. Gravity! And then, what is very important about an airplane that you think makes it stay up? Wind. Wind, wind and wings. Okay, the force that's making it go but up. But it's a real airplane, it won't. But if the airplane was real airplane, it could blow it. You're right, because it has an engine. Yeah, so the, the thrust in a real airplane is its engine. You're saying that you would make a thrust with, you would blow your airplane? Yeah. Oh, totally works. Love it. And lift is how the air is moving under and over the wings. And this really happens in a real. What? Are you having a rocket launch right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're making lift by making the air on top of your wings go faster than the air underneath your wings. Okay, quiz. What is the force that makes the airplane go forward? <laughs> In a real airplane, it's an engine. Oh. In our airplanes, thrust. What's the force that's going to slow your airplane down because it's pushing right. drag? What's gravity? Uh huh. And then what's the force that's going to help our airplane stay up? Lift. Lift. Yeah. Okay. So the way that our airplane works is to balance all of those. Okay. And the way that we make our airplane do tricks and do different things is to play with the balance of all of those. So, first, you know we're gonna decorate these, then we're going to take them to a <laughs> testing ground where we're going to do some flying and see if we can play with all the forces to get them to do some really cool things. done, I think, decorating. Yep. So now is a very, very, very important part. I need to know what the name of your aircraft is. Izzy. Rainbow. Rainbow, can I see it? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I see your inspiration. 
And it kind of matches your shirt. Yeah, it does. Oh, you coordinated. Eli? Mine is called Blue Steel. Blue Steel. What was the inspiration behind that? Um, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Jeff, Uncle Jeff. Okay, okay. Oliver, what's yours named? Flamethrower. Yes, I can see the inspiration. I bet that's gonna go fast. What if it went so fast it spontaneously combusted and became a flamethrower? What would your reaction be? Can you do it for us right now? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's very similar to what ours would be. And last but not least, Addy. This is Smiley. Oh, why did why did you name it that? Because there are smiley oh. faces on it. Yes, yes. And this is called um, Topanga. I've named this plane <laughs> Topanga. Just now, no forethought on that one. Okay, um, should we go fly these babies? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. We're here with our airplanes and we're ready to fly. We are going to fly these a couple different ways, playing with the forces with, does anyone remember a force? Gravity. Gravity. Drag. 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 Lift. 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 Thrust. 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 Yes, we are going to play with all those things to see what the changes are. So the first thing we're going to do is just fly them just like this. Let's get in the line. All right, I'll go first just to, you know, Set the example. Okay, okay ready? Yeah. Go to Panga! All right, Daxi, your turn. Woo! Flamethrower! Oh. Whoa, spinner! Cool. Is, yes! Blue steel! this a little bit just like that and then you're gonna fold the tip of your plane up and then fold it in half again that puts a little more weight at the front of your plane and we're gonna see what changes about how this flies when we do that okay so open it up fold this part up and then fold it back in half okay what do we think is gonna happen I think it'll go slower. You think it'll go slower? Yeah, it'll go higher. Higher? I think it'll yeah, drop higher. to the ground faster. Okay, okay, these are all good. Let's see what happens. We have some hypothesis. Oh. oh! What happened different, Dax? Yeah, it went, it did, it drifted a little bit more, didn't it? Okay, ready? I'll try it. Oh! Whoa, cool! pushing so there's more resistance. Whoa! <laughs> All right, Izzy, let's see it. Izzy, yes! Go get your plane and we'll make another change. Let's fold them both up and see what happens. So this, remember when we had our hands like this? Versus like this? Which caught more wind, when it was flat or? Flat. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're putting a big hand right at the end of our plane. So when the air comes and pushes, it's gonna catch on those little wings and go, we hope. Oh, nope, that didn't work, does that even, oh, Izzy! That was so cool! Did you see it? Yeah. Whoa, Smiley, Smiley's coming for me. Okay, okay, all right. Now, if we bend one up and one down, okay. let's think about it. The air will push here and here and hopefully spin. Yeah! Oh! Woo! Whoa, that was now that we have some basic ideas about how planes work and how we can try to make them do different things, how would you guys feel about just trying some, um, Airplane trick shots. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh no, Smiley. Nice. We have saved our most epic 
epic trick shot for the very end. We're up here on the balcony and down there is the pool. Please note the different targets. Hot dog worth one point. Inflatable basketball hoop, that's how many? Two points. And the green inner tube is worth three, three points. Yeah, I'll try it again. Redo. He's gonna get in the hot. You think so? 